You know, we're all feeling the effects of inflation right now, especially as we prepare for Thanksgiving. The cost of groceries is through the roof, which means that feast on the table is really going to be pushing budgets to the brink. The cost of food is up over 11% from last year. The American Farm Bureau Federation tracks the cost of a Thanksgiving meal every year, and it is up 20% this year. In 2020, a meal for 10 would cost you an average of 47 bucks. This year, it is more like $64, and even that may sound low to some. 7 Action News reporter Mike Duffy has been talking to local businesses and an economist about how you can shift your thinking and maybe take the edge off inflation. Gertrude here knows a little secret, and I'm going to tell you about it. Inflation is hitting us all really hard right now, but it doesn't have to hurt as bad as you might imagine. One way to take the sting out of food prices, sorry Gertrude, is to buy local. We're here at Roperti's Turkey Farm in Livonia. Christine Roperti's dad bought the land in 1942, and it's been farmed by the family ever since. Christine says inflation is everywhere. Everything is a little bit more. Everything, my water, my bags, my boxes. She admits her turkey prices have gone up, but says it's so worth it. They taste so much better. My turkey, the, it's night and day. Why? Because they're raised right here in Michigan. And their food comes from Michigan. Their, their corn comes from Michigan. And the wheat and the oats that we give them, they taste like Michigan. <laughs> yes, they do. I reached out to economist Tim Nash to better understand where things stand this Thanksgiving. He's the senior vice president emeritus and director of the McNair Center at Northwood University. Uh, the national price for turkey is up 70%. Uh, from last year, so the you know the ability to to produce that Thanksgiving uh, meal is, is going to be challenging this year. Christine Roperti might not want to hear it, but Nash suggests considering less so traditional done, Thanksgiving okay. fare, like chicken or fish, to cushion the blow. He does, however, see the advantages of staying local. Substituting for products that are produced in Michigan might be a great way to celebrate Thanksgiving in Michigan if you're entertaining family. That's because two of the biggest inflation costs right now are transportation due to gas prices and materials like packaging. You may actually go to the farm so that you may not have the, uh, the transportation uh, component to the price. Nash also says buying your Thanksgiving booze from Michigan is another great idea because nationally, alcohol inflation is around 12 percent. Internationally, it's 20 to 30 percent. So what about dessert? That's where Andrew Shimalewski, owner of Dave's Sweet Tooth Toffee, comes in. Dave was my dad. He was a retired Detroit firefighter. We started making it in our home kitchen, selling it at craft shows. That was about a little over 10 years ago. And uh, from there, it's just kind of grown into what it is today. Which is a product that can be found in stores throughout the U.S. He explained to me what sets this Detroit-made confectionery creation apart from the rest. We make the world's best almond toffee. He admits inflation has had a big impact on his business, and one of the biggest sources? A huge source of, uh, of inflation is, is energy, transporting our raw materials from, from one place to another. He sees an easy way to counter that. I've always been a huge proponent of, uh, of shopping local and supporting local businesses. You know, not only does it help to keep that money in the community, but products have to travel, uh, you know, less of a distance. So maybe consider this local product for your holidays. Whether you buy it and display it as Dave Sweet Tooth or you put it out on a plate and pretend like you made it yourself, um, you know, I think it's kind of the perfect treat for uh, Thanksgiving. In Detroit, Mike Duffy, 7 Action News.